Greetings from New Jerusalem 777. I'm back with my third video. I hope this is the last one. Um, but, but by the way, um, you know, by, back to the women being in ministry. Um, women are just as much involved in the ministry as men. And if you say that women, it's um, biblical for a woman to be in ministry, like you said in a couple of your videos before, then you might as well go tell your friend Vivian to stop passing out um, tracts and stuff too. Because she's involved in the ministry whether you believe it or not. She is in the ministry. She is a minister. Okay, a minister is a servant. It is not necessarily a preacher or a pastor. A minister is anyone who serves for the purpose of that good. Like who serves for the purpose of, let's say, the ministry of Christ or the ministry of the gospel. Well, they go, they pass out tracts. It doesn't matter if you pass out tracts or it doesn't matter if you go out and witness the people one on one. It's not just the church because we get so caught up in the church and stuff or, you know, the, going in the building that we forget about the other parts of the ministry, too. And I think that's just um, really wrong, you know. And I think that's just limiting, you know. You're limiting the meaning of the word ministry. And it's more than that, you know. You're a servant. You're not a leader, per se. You're not a authority figure. Because, like I said, people have abused their authority figure. Look at how the government is. I mean, we tell our... Um, Christians, fellow Christians, oh, you better obey the government because if you don't, God is going to get you and all that. Well, you know, first of all, you need to obey God first, and then God will put you in line spiritually. You will be in line spiritually. The Holy Spirit will counsel you. The Holy Spirit is a teacher. It's, it's, that's what it is. Because, I mean, I hear other people on YouTube speaking the same thing. Like this one uh, female, Simone56, she spoke about... Um, women being in pastors being pastors and preachers and stuff and she's against that too as well and um because she said something about like if, if if a woman is married you know then she is under the authority of her husband or under the headship of her husband but if she's not married she's continually under the headship of her father well, what if her father died or what if oh so are you are she is, did she say are she is she saying that um she's under the headship of her brother or even if he's younger than her I mean, or under the authority ship of her cousin, her male cousin, or whoever male, whoever is in her family that are male. I mean, that doesn't make any sense in a way that's so ridiculous. It's so oxymoron. But my point is, is, you know, we mature in Christ. I mean, and we have Christ as our authority. We don't need another person over our lives perpetually to be our head, our, our spiritual head covering. We have Christ as our spiritual head covering. We don't need another man or another woman being our spiritual head if we have the full word of God, which is the Bible, and we have Christ. We have Christ. We have the Holy Spirit. We don't need that, really. Now, God does send people to our way, you know, and, you know, in time of need. And there is a time and a place for pastors and being under a preacher and all that. But it's not always, it doesn't have to always be that way. And if you're a mature enough Christian, you don't have to be under a pastor all the time. You can, you know... You fellowship with other people and whoever you want to fellowship with within the body of Christ. Okay, you don't have to go to a go to that one church all the time. I don't believe in that no more. I used to, but I don't because for one thing, I am not a car carrying member of any particular church. I am in the body of Christ. No matter who I fellowship with within the body of Christ, I'm still in the will of God. I don't have to be stuck in one church or be stuck under one preacher's authority. I am not under his authority or anybody's authority. I'm under the authority of God. Okay, under the authority of Christ. That should be our authority. Okay, our final authority. Now, another thing, too, is, is the kingdom going to be like this? Is, is the millennial kingdom going to be like this? Is this going to be gender-based um, 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 biases going on? Is Christ going to choose the male to lead nations and have the females serve the males? No, it's not going to be that way. We all are going to have equality in the body of Christ. That's the point. And we should prepare ourselves for that. You know, by preaching the word of God, the most important thing is to proclaim the gospel of grace, of God's grace. I mean, this thing about feminism taking over the church, I mean, that is a less issue. I mean, it's not really that big of an issue. Like, you make it out to be in you and some of these other people. I mean, it's an issue, but it's not. The, the, the proclamation of the gospel is what you should be doing, okay? Because this men and women fighting over the ministry is really outrageous. It's stupid. I am not into that fight. And I'll tell you, I'm not going to, I'm not arguing over it. I'm just giving my point. I think it's stupid. I think it's just plain stupid. And I think it's one of Satan's way of keeping us distracted and fighting each other. And males and females just can't come together in harmony in the body of Christ. You know, and I think it's just really ridiculous. But my point is, is I just think that, um, 
you know we are just as um equally in the ministry as men are okay well i'm not saying women should wear, wear the pants or lead everybody but you're not you're not a lead, you're not a really an authority figure neither you are a servant and the only your authority only comes from christ it doesn't come from anywhere else and not only that being a man does not necessarily mean you're you're more you're more of god than um, a woman is it doesn't make you more godly than a woman okay we're all creating the image of god whether you're male or female and me, being a male is not necessarily um the only thing and you know we need to stop looking at god as a male and start looking at him and worshiping him in spirit and truth that's what the bible said the bible never told us to worship god as a male okay because god is not a man he is a creator he is the creator he is a spirit okay we don't put gender on god now i'm not saying the pronoun is um not um gender particularly gender based but the pronoun of god he is um does have a masculine kind of, it has a masculine denotation to it okay um but it doesn't it doesn't mean that God is we worship God in such a way oh he's a man no he's not just a man he's more than a man he's outside of that he's outside of creation he's outside of time he's outside of matter we you know we don't need to be doing like the Mormons you know where we worship where the people worship the male ship it's not about male ship it's about God it's about Jesus you know and that's what I'm trying to say so we don't worship a man we worship a spirit which is the creator. We worship him in the spirit. And that's all I have to say. And thanks for watching.